This video is about the division law of indices. According to the division law of indices, if you have the same variable with different powers and if it is divided, then it becomes a to the power of m minus n. Therefore, which is a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. You can see that both of them are the same variables and when they are raised to different powers it is equal to a to the power of m minus n that is m which is the new power of the numerator minus the power of the denominator. Now looking at example 1 you have y to the power of 6 divided by y to the power of 4. Now applying the division law of indices you have y to the power of 6 minus 4 because 6 is the power of the numerator and 4 is the power of the denominator. So you take away the power of the denominator from the power of the numerator provided that the variables are the same. So which is equal to y to the power of 2. Moving on to the next example we can see that it is y to the power of minus 9 divided by y to the power of minus 5. So the power of the numerator is minus 9 and the power of the denominator is minus 5. So you can take away the power of the denominator from the power of the numerator. Therefore it becomes y to the power of minus 9 minus of minus 5. So this is equal to y to the power of minus 9 minus times minus is plus 5 which is equal to y to the power of minus 4. This is example 2. The next one is example 3 where you have y to the power of 13 divided by y to the power of minus 5. You can see that the power of the numerator is 13 and the power of the denominator is minus 5. So to simplify this you will apply the division law of indices according to which you take away the power of the, num of the denominator from the power of the numerator. Therefore, it is y to the power of 13 minus of minus 5. Therefore, it is equal to y to the power of 13 minus times minus is plus 5, which is equal to y to the power of 18, which is the simplified version of y to the power of 13 divided by y to the power of minus 5 and y to the power of minus 4, which is equal to y to the power of minus 9 divided by y to the power of minus 5 and y squared is equal to y to the power of 6 divided by y to the power of 4 and all these answers were simplified using the division or law of indices which is a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. Thank you.